H&M's digital twin campaign uses AI-generated clones of real models, and it has ignited a multifaceted debate within the fashion industry. So, as a model scout who loves fashion photography, you can guess that I have some thoughts on this. While H&M is celebrating this as a technological advancement, there are many concerns about its implications for the future of the modeling industry. Sarah Ziff, executive director of the Model Alliance, emphasizes that this practice might not only affect models, but also makeup artists, hairstylists, photographers, and other creative professionals involved in traditional photo shoots. Every shoot that uses an AI-generated image not only is a paycheck that all of those people didn't get, it is also a missed opportunity for a young intern trying to get into the industry. The people in positions of power now might be able to hold on for a bit, but the younger generations are the ones who are going to suffer the most. The use of AI-generated models also raises concerns about reinforcing unrealistic beauty standards. AI models can be manipulated to embody idealized images, exacerbating issues related to body image and diversity. Even just by looking at this photo of Yar, I can see a birthmark on her forehead that is not there in her digital twin because the technology sees that as a flaw that needs to be corrected. Would Cindy Crawford's digital twin have her beauty mark? What about models like Tobias Sorensen? Is the improved version of him the one that removes the scars from his face? This technological shift is going to further marginalize underrepresented groups as the industry already faces criticism for its lack of inclusivity. The ability to freeze a model's likeness at a particular age also introduces ethical dilemmas about aging and representation. You know, there are already conversations saying, let's make a clone of the girl at 16 before she develops a disgusting woman's body with a hip over 90 centimeters that ruins her figure. From a business perspective for the brands, AI models offer cost-saving opportunities by reducing expenses associated with traditional photo shoots, such as travel, accommodations, and production. This cost efficiency comes at the expense of human creativity and the unique elements that real models and creative teams bring to fashion campaigns. The balance between innovation and preserving the human touch in fashion remains a critical point of contention. It is also important to note that these generated images did not appear out of nowhere. These programs were trained using the actual work of fashion photographers without their consent to take jobs away from them. I'm not shocked that a company like H&M would be looking for every single way to cut costs, but I am surprised to see the modeling agencies that agree to this. Next. IMG, Elite, Women, and Mikas are all involved in this campaign, which I'm sure they were extremely generously paid for, but those short-term rewards are going to be their downfall. They used successful, established models for this campaign, I'm sure with very favorable terms of usage for their digital twins in the future, but the inevitable result is going to be to use brand new models that they can pay next to nothing for, using the argument that they don't even have to do any physical labor anymore, or entirely forgo the real human and just use an AI-generated face that is a mix of all of the face of the models they already used. AI models don't need to get paid over time, they don't complain about unsafe working conditions or sexual harassment, they never get their period or blemish. How lovely for the company that says they are human-centric to remove all humanity from a human. This technology hasn't been around for very long, we are just at the beginning of this debate, but I want to hear from you in the comments. What do you think about the digital twins and the use of AI in fashion photography? Should we make exceptions for smaller brands with smaller budgets? Expect more videos about AI from me in the future, and please subscribe if you want to see more content about the fashion industry.